hey there how's it going so in this video i'm going to show you how to add row number to your data frame so you can use it as a unique id for each of your data frame record so um i'm going to be using um spark window function uh, to basically get it done and also there is a row number in and it's part that you can import as you can see here so you can import it from the uh, spark or sequoder function uh, you can import the window from sequoder uh, expression um, so i'm going to define a new data frame called uh, df2 but df2 equal to uh, so this is the data frame i'm going to be using uh, i've already read it and here i'm just um, uh, casting the price as integer instead of string so, uh, so let's define a new data frame so this one will be um, so in, in the new data frame i basically want to add a row number to this uh, particular data frame so that would be df dot with column row number so row number column and so what i'm going to do is use the row number function then i'm going to iterate over the uh, a particular column in the data frame so dot over so the over is going to basically take in the window frame so the window frame is basically uh, going to take each of the record and perform some operation on it and the operation i want to perform on it is basically to add a a, a row number to each of the record and i'm going to first of all order the column by um let's say um let me order it by the price so let's say um so that will be window dots um order by i want to order it by the price column so uh price so now let's print let's display df2 so that will be df2 so so let's run this application again uh, so this is a class application i already import it here so this is my job runner so i'm just going to run it here all right so you can see right um we've ordered this uh, price by uh, i mean uh, in ascending order so that the ascending is the default order in spark so it starts from one one then two then the rest of the the uh, digits so um you can see here right we've got the row number so it's count from the first record to the last record so it has total of 12 records um another thing you can do is um you can try to partition this uh this data frame by a uh, say for example category so if you partition it by category it's going to add the row number so it's going to take in the record of each of the partition and apply row number to each of the uh, record so let's say for example we partition it by the um, category so let's say partition by category so so let's say we want to order it in a descending order instead of ascending dot so i'm going to use colon here colon dot 
as descending. So let's run it again. All right, so um, you can see why uh, we partition it by the um, category. Uh, so this, the first category is basically car, car category, and it's applied row number uh, operation to that partition. So it counts from one to five. So we've got five cars here. So another partition is tech so it counts also counts from one to four so the tech category uh, uh, so we have number of record in tech category number of four records tech category and number of three record in fruit category as you can see here so basically that is how you can apply a row number and window function to your spa application uh, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button and leave a comment. Have a lovely day and goodbye.